do you qualify, Dad? 22nd. Out of? 31. That's, that's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Race number two out here at Newcastle. Taking off the cart covers. Uh, first thing this morning. Yesterday, again, for practice was like almost a complete washout. We got like two sessions. So we have really not gotten many dry laps uh, on this track yet this year. But today's gonna change that uh, completely dry today. A fairly challenging layout. Uh, it goes backwards to what our normal uh, track direction is. one practice session qualifying then they're doing a pre-final and a final We've got dad here it's gonna be sunny it's gonna be sunny right yeah it's gonna be dry uh, so we're gonna get the cart covers off uh, do some uh, last minute things to get ready go out and practice and keep you guys updated so here we go got sunshine got my cigar got my coffee and not enough hands Walk with Dad. First race of the year for me. Casey's been out a couple of times. It's good to be at the track. You know, when you get to be my age, you've pretty much been there, done it, and uh, life can get pretty routine at times. And this morning, as I take this walk, and my first practice, and my only practice is about 10 minutes away. I actually have butterflies. I'm nervous, and I think that's a good thing. You need that every once in a while. So, I'm not overly confident that probably contributes to it. Uh, practice wasn't great yesterday, but you know what? I'm gonna welcome the butterflies and see if we can't take that adrenaline and go out and do something good today. What's up guys, Regan and I are going to watch Dad and Casey practice, and you may notice she is eating just a tortilla. One of the many reasons why I love to spend time with her, so. Um, yeah, this is uh, Regan's first trip out here to Newcastle. What's the kind of the first impressions for you? It's lovely. Okay. <laughs> She's very uncomfortable. You know, it's like when LeBron goes out in public, everybody's looking at LeBron and talking to LeBron. They don't really pay much attention to his girl. You know, that's how I feel out here right now. Um, but we're about to go watch Casey and Dad's practice. First practice and only practice because we're doing practice, pre-final, or sorry, practice, qualifying, pre-final, final. So it should be a fun day. We'll see, uh, I don't know, we'll see how they're doing in this first one and let you guys know. So a little update. Uh, we have one round of practice today and that is done. It's hard to get a real good gauge on where I was at because I think every LO206 in the Midwest was out there on the track and like I couldn't get a clean lap and so it felt good like I could keep up with with people that I knew were fast but uh, 
then again we never had a clean lap so it's not like they had the chance to pull away either so um i think it felt good i think i was in a competitive place though uh for the front end though when I go through a corner, like mid corner on, I'm just kind of losing the front end a little bit. So um, what I actually did was I changed my ride height uh, in the front from going low to the middle setting. And uh, I think also add a little bit of an offset in the tire pressure. So go uh, just a little bit less in the rear than I have in the front. Uh, just trying to put more of that grip up front, but overall I think I was in a pretty good place. So nothing big What's our goal? Huh? What's our goal? Uh, well, goal, goal. goal. All right, that's the goal. goal is the I'm goal. happy with top five. Okay. Because there's a pre-final. What? There's a pre-final and a final. So yeah, so I think... two races? That's right. Wow, that's okay. right. No wonder you guys are so ahead of schedule. So 31 carts qualified in Masters. I wasn't first, wasn't last. I was mid-pack, late mid-pack. 22 out of 31, but it's a sunny day. Got my two daughters with me. Doesn't get much better than that. One of the things that uh, is interesting today is we're running the track backwards. And that means a long run too wide into a hairpin and it almost always brings carnage and uh, so the cool thing is today uh, we're running a different format uh, qualifying heat race final so we get to go through that gauntlet twice and uh, I just hope that uh, the 34 can get through <laughs> both times so I qualified um, the cart felt just fantastic i was thrilled with that and uh you know i ended up qualifying fifth had i was probably i think a six tenths off the pull time it was just frustrating that I, I just didn't play it as smart as i should have i needed to build more of a gap um but i you know hindsight uh but fifth for the pre-final I think dad may have mentioned there's the first turn and this seems to invite like uh, wrecks more times than not because it's a long straight to a, a hairpin. Um, so really just the goal is to get through that and then, you know, start racing. Um, we got uh, a good crew out here. We got Finley, dad of course, Ben and Regan, Donnie's, uh, Maddie, Katie, I know. That is Katie. And then we got Finster. Uh, just missing Sarah. She had to work again this this race. She's, a, she's had a stretch of working during races, but uh, soon I think uh, it'll work out where she can be out here. But uh, it's a good crew. Thank all of them for coming out. And Sarah, we miss you. So race number two out here. And then we get a surprise person to stop in our uh, pit. We got Adam. And uh, you know he was just telling me he was on the jam vlog a while back. He said he kind of did that out of pity. Um, but yeah, he, he stopped in ours. What'd you say? Your favorite vlog? Yes. Yeah. The favorite vlog. No. So Adam works with uh, Cup Carts. Uh, he, he, he won in a Riven Drive through uh, iRacing. That was pretty cool. But uh, no, it's good to see Adam out here. Not, dude drove nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours for this race. Unbelievable. But uh, uh, I had a free card to motivate me though. Well, that'll do it. Still, that's a long drive. But uh, yeah, so Jam, uh, you know, you're on notice. Uh, second favorite vlog. So first race of the year, I got the super fast Burrell streamlined chassis ready to take me. I've got Ghost Power Racing that would make Elon Musk and SpaceX wish they had that kind of engineering. And I've got Brand new MG tires. There's only one thing missing. What fills that helmet? 
She's got a big problem. Qualified 22nd out of 38. <sighs> Everything else is so good. All right, my first race is over. Um, got through the gauntlet fine. Things were looking good, and then I think I got to the second turn after that, and uh, spin in front of me, and I'm not sure. I, it's probably just a bad decision. Video will show it, but uh, I went high to avoid it, and just had to creep along. Had to could barely stay on the track doing it, and out of my periphery, I just saw cars screaming by, cars screaming by, and so. I don't know how far back I went, but uh, you know, there was some additional wrecks and, and entanglements that uh, let me pick up a few spots. I made a pass. So I went from 22nd to 25th and uh, just not real happy with the way I drove. Uh, first time out and I guess some of that's expected but I can do better. It's just um, not entering turns well at all. Not, I'm, I'm soft on the brake. I'm just not, just not aggressive. I need to get that eye of the tiger. So that was uh, a race that didn't go like I thought and, or like I'd like. and. Uh, you know, so we'll start 25th here in the final, see how we do. Pre-final race just ended. Started fifth. God, I don't even know what to say. Turn one. It was a good start up front. We're, we're going through clean. And out of my peripheries, as I'm getting ready to turn in, I see this car just come barreling in. to go fast yet it is crazy okay if he gets out of this turn we're gonna cook who yep someone try to go along the side the inside go way way back um, so after that you know cart was fantastic I mean the car just felt so good this weekend uh, it was running solid times um, made up a handful of positions.
and I ended up finishing 11th. So start 11th in the pre-final. Casey's race has just come to an end. Um, very, very tough start. Turn one, doesn't even get one turn in, no fault of his own. A uh, guy probably three rows behind him just snuck it in really low, locked it up, spun out, got into Casey and a couple others. Uh, really kind of caused chaos for the people casing behind but uh Thank you, you know so that was tough uh casey bounced back really well though i thought i thought you know he was running just a couple of tents off of the leaders and he was alone and they were um in a bit of a draft and you know after afterwards i went and talked to the guy because i felt like if somebody wasn't involved i was a bit more level-headed than probably uh some of the people who would have gotten affected so I talked to him he was cool he, he you know he obviously took the blame for it and i just said hey you know we've all been there we've all done that you just got to learn from it so uh hopefully for the final we can avoid anything crazy but uh just a tough start again, Casey, more bad luck. Uh, but what else is new, you know? It wouldn't be a KRA race if Casey didn't have bad luck. A little post-race wrap up back here on the hill. I uh, had a good final. Um, we got through the gauntlet again with no problems. So we got through that first turn and uh, I made it through turn three this time with no problem. Started uh, 24th and ended up 19th. Then about, I don't know, four or five laps into the race, I, I made a pass at a place where I really didn't expect to, but uh, got, a good in, uh, got a good exit off of what we call the 70 hairpin and made a move. And then one or two laps later, I thought, why not try it again? Did I look fast, man? Yeah, when you whipped around, then it's because like, I'm fast, Maddie. <laughs> Elton John wrote a song about me. Yeah. Called Rocket Man. Uh, <laughs> is that on camera? That is on camera. That's <laughs> 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 Even at 58 years old, you can still learn lessons. I, um, I was not in a very good mood when we went up because I had made a mistake and not looked at the schedule. I thought. As with the heat race, we raced sixth in the feature. Well, we raced sixth in the heat race, but we raced first. It's final time. You have a goal, Dad? Oh, it's just a debacle here. No goal. What do you mean a debacle? Uh, I'm having some issues here. My own issue. Your car or you? Uh, it's, it's me. It's you? Mm -hmm. And so, as I was going to make my changes, which I thought I still had an hour and 15 minutes to make, my son said, Dad, you're pre-grid. And so I had to leave some of those changes on the table. We made one on, actually on the way up. And, you know, as it turned out, I wanted to drop a tooth to get more straightaway speed. And, um, you know, the way the race played out, I was able to work through some traffic and uh, and once I did, I had probably six, eight laps of nothing. You know, it was just me by myself. But not having that tooth, or not or having the extra tooth helped me drive down that straightaway um, where normally I probably would have really struggled with that extra tooth. So anyway, 
you can never get too down, I guess, on what you're going to the starting line with. Just go out and make the best of it. And um, I was guilty of not having the right attitude today. So, <laughs> so you'll hear me joking every once in a while about Casey's luck. I told a guy that if he bought a hundred lottery tickets, just throw them in the trash can because there's. If Casey bought them, there's not a single winner in there. But you know what? We really need to get away from that. Um, what's biting him now may turn into good fortune and we're just not going to be you know we're not we're not going to be that family that thinks they're snake bit all the time Good luck. so that was the final i rolled off 11 and um, got through the first turn clean. I had set my tire pressure pretty low because it was a long, long race. Uh, so I was a little squirrely at first. Um, made a couple moves early, got towards the front pack, and uh, tires started coming in a little bit. Starting to feel, you know, it's like, okay, good, it, it will come in. No sooner than I started feeling okay about the tires, uh, just as I went through a hairpin. Chain broke. Um, yeah, you know, that's ultimately on me. I couldn't honestly tell you how old that chain was. So, something I should have replaced at the beginning of the season. So, to all you uh, folks out there watching, thinking, should I replace my chain? It's been a while. I'd recommend yes. Uh, it was, you know, kind of went along with my my weekend unfortunately where i just there was the potential but not not you know results so that happens um it happens good job man that was awesome race. Oh, well, too. very smart brother yeah heck of a job man heck of a job great run very patient I just wanted to get Caden on camera real quick. Unfortunately, I don't get to give him a post-race interview, but uh, that's, a, that's a friend of ours, Caden and his dad, Bennett. Big fans of the vlog. They've been huge supporters. Um, they actually just got invited to Caden's open house, but Caden uh, just ended up winning the sportsman race that Casey, his chain uh, snapped on that one. But heck of a run by Caden. He looked real smooth today. Um, so again, couldn't, couldn't get him on camera because you know, he's a madman. He's got back-to-back -back runs, but heck of a run, Caden. I just want you to know that was freaking awesome. I know your dad was super stoked and all that, but uh, just wanted to let you know, great run, man. Love you guys um, and all the support you guys give us, too. Overall, it was a really fun weekend. We're go-karting, right? I mean, we're go-karting. It doesn't really get any better than this for me. So, uh, you know, we'll pack it up. We'll head home. Uh, I'll get a new chain, and uh, you know, next race we'll we'll wipe the slate clean and and uh, you know see what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, hit the hit the subscribe button. Um, 
what else is Ben's? Oh, like and share it. Uh, thanks again, guys.